to this episode of the Sarcastic Prophet. Uh, today I have for you the Engineer class. I didn't think I was going to have time to review this class. Uh, I was going to do a weapon video for every class. I got almost all of them done. Um, however, I was curious about the Engineer. People will say it was the underdog. And I really wanted to do like a ranged class. I did some World v. World. I didn't get to record it because the lag can get kind of bad around a whole bunch of people and Fraps was just making it worse. So from, I saw, you know, incredible fights, uh, catapults, you know, trebuchets just flinging fiery projectiles across the map. It was incredible to see some of these fights um, where we were, took back, you know, a keep that was taken from us immediately. It was just incredible to watch. But I really I noticed that ranged was king. Melee, if you tried to melee, you could get uh, picked off and killed pretty quickly. Although if you stayed together in a formation, a whole bunch of you, you were a force to be reckoned with. Um, so I was trying different range classes. The ranger was a little ridiculous. In fact, I thought some of his skills were more OP than some of the warrior stuff. Uh, which what I was playing I was my main. So then I tried this guy here and I was like, okay, well he got He's got basically a pistol, a rifle, and a shield. But it's one of his main weapons that he can use. Plus, he's got these bag of tricks. Well, so I tried leveling his weapons, and he doesn't have very many. I'm like, okay, well, this is kind of lame. I can see why people don't like him. So, from doing my skill point videos, I noticed that a lot of his gear was tied up in uh, his actual um, uh, utility skills. And I was, I was like, where's the flamethrower? I want to use a flamethrower. And I couldn't find it. I was like, oh, I have to unlock it. So I actually, thankfully, because of my videos, I kind of knew where to go quickly. Uh, almost out of time, the event's about to end in about an hour. Um, what I wanted to do is just kind of show you some of his stuff. So luckily, I was able to get a lot of this stuff done. Uh, there's still, as you can see, a ton of, like, you know, rocket boots. You know, I really wanted the rocket boots, but I mean... <laughs> There's so many other choices to get. So, uh, what I want to do is go through uh, what uh, he has and show you uh, how effective he is. I believe that this guy is really, really... I don't think they understand him. Uh, I was doing some amazing combos. Uh, these landmines, for instance, are incredibly powerful. Let me show you how. So, as I select the weapon... As you see, it removed my weapon, and I now have this backpack, and I got, oh, he's like trying to hold a mine in his hand, you just can't really see it, he's kind of flipping it around, placeholder animations, but there's no, he's, so you have five mines, and they respawn very, very fast, so, uh, watch this, so, and then I can blow him up. Bam! Now, as you can see, it one-shot that thing. And, of course, it, didn't, it wasn't in range to catch these guys. But I was using it to kill veteran mobs so easily. Now, you get pro at this, as you can see. And down he goes. And, of course, his main attack he uses a pistol or a rifle. And I thought was... I wanted to use a gun instead of the bow. I found it a little more fun. The bow on the ranger is incredibly powerful. He can do a snare and fire and then just rapid shot and just kill stuff. So I may have still playing a ranger, but this guy has on his rifle, he's got your hip shot, which does a really nice damage. Uh, then the net shot, which is actually pretty, uh, responds pretty fast, uh, gives you a lot, because so I can just root this guy. Pretty far away, hits him with a net, and I can just hip shot him. As you can see, he does a lot of damage. You got your up close blunderbuss. The closer you get, the more damage it does. Uh, it is really, really so. If you get a lot of guys on you, it's a cone effect, too. So, if you get really, really close up to something, as you can see, it does a lot of damage. And then this one, overcharge shot, is quite hilarious. Uh, I'll actually use it in combination with the jump shot. Whenever you land is where you will do damage. You will actually like jump on top of somebody. So watch this guy. So I'll get up on top of this guy here. And I'm going to hit him 
Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm going to hit him with this knockback, and then I'm going to jump back on top of him. And if you time it right, you can do some decent damage. Oh. And then you have utility goggles here, which allows you to analyze your foe. Crit so this also, when you actually activate it, I can actually get an increased critical chance. And immune to blindness. Now, blindness is actually a big factor in the game. I really didn't pay attention to it too much until now. Uh, where you can miss. If they blind you, you can't see. <laughs> so awesome. <laughs> so this... Uh, Alright, so now we will move on to... Uh, dual pistols. As you can see, this is it. He doesn't have much else. Did I grab the wrong one? Oh, there we go. There we go. So, the pistol is actually my staple weapon. Uh, you have your main attack, your explosive main attack shot, which does air effect damage in addition to bleed damage. Your secondary shot is the poison dart volley, which is nice because it'll fire five darts uh, and in rapid succession and it does poison damage over time and reduces healing effectiveness. Then, of course, the static shot is really nice. Not only is it blind, it confuses as well. So it's doing damage, as well as uh, the next uh, attacks uh, over three seconds are missing. Then, with the second pistol, you have the ability to use a blowtorch, which is kind of like a little quick flame burst. The closer you are, the more damage it does. A lot of his stuff is, is range-specific, especially when I get to the flamethrower. You'll see you can move in and out of range, and your damage will go up and down depending on how far you are from the target. Glue shot was one that I really liked because it, of course, large puddle of glue. Oh, man. Oh, everyone's at the beta event. I should be there, too, but I wanted to show this stuff off. So, as you can see, the glue shot is, you've probably seen it, fires a big puddle of glue. It's kind of disgusting. Insert, nasty joke. And, um, he also has these other, I haven't unlocked his fourth ability here yet, but you have tons of different effects. So your first one is this elixir, which you automatically get. This is just a, a, a feature that you get. Now, of course, as you can see, you get a random protection, regeneration, or swiftness in the allies of the area. So it'll heal, give you vigor, and protection. So I can just pop it real quick. And this one gives me regeneration, but I could have gotten swiftness or a bonus to my armor. Uh, of course, your peel pot also does the same thing. And then he tosses the potion aside. And with, I guess I should show the abilities for the uh, pistol too. Let's go ahead and root you. And then blast you with the fire. The blindness, as you can see, it goes back and forth between the two of them. And then there's the poison dart. There's a regular shot. As you can see, it applies the bleed effect, so the longer you're shooting, the more damage you're doing. So it's not as powerful as a rifle, but it's a lot more conditional stuff. You can really, really, really stack up a lot of damage if you... This one's going to require some skill to play, so it really, I'm really excited about... I actually might change my main to this Engineer class. Of course, he looks cool as hell, too. But I might play an Astura. I'm not sure yet. Uh, we will do the Shield next. With the Shield... Of course, it has a real cool effect of blocking attacks. And this might actually really be good in PvP um, to where... Let's see if I can get someone to shoot me. Like, this guy uses a bow. So, I'll shoot him. And see if he'll shoot me back. There we go. So, I you know, really can stack up some nice stuff here. Then, of course, you have a static shield, which will electrify your shield. And, of course throw it at the foes. If they hit you, they're stunned. It is really, really nice. You can just pop this thing. Oh, it's, it's really fast though. You gotta do, you gotta work really fast with it. So, here we go. I'll finish this guy off real quick. Heal up. And that is to his main weapons. Now, as you unlock other stuff, 
I think I'll put it back on the rifle just for now. I got a little more control, I think, with the rifle. Uh, these I get a lot of choices here. So, oop, I didn't mean to pick that. So, with the heal slot, I can. I've also unlocked the other two, which is a med pack and a healing turret. Let me get away from these guys to show you how they work. The med kit is really cool. When you select it, it changes your weapon slots. You become a healer. It's the only other class that I've really found to be an effective healer. You've got your main heal yourself, but then of course you can drop um, packages uh, that when people walk over, if they're hurt, uh, gives them bonuses. So this one does healing. This So you've got two heals, or sorry, three heals. And then you have uh, antidote which removes conditions so if you're if you have poison or some other effects on you this will remove the condition and then a stimulant which will do uh, grant fury and swiftness so critical and movement speed really really nice and I can pick it up by myself as you can see so I can use it for myself which is really nice it's not very long but still and then of course you can heal yourself so you're kind of like a medic a combat medic which is really cool so I can still fight and you know, I can change back to my um, you know, mines or, or bombs or whatever I wanted to use uh, and go from there. Now, this, the third one, of course, is the turret. Now, the turret is really nice. Uh, it doesn't seem to last very long. Once you deploy it, if uh, it's healing, people will... It'll, it'll get attacked. I mean, it has a health bar. It'll stay until it gets killed. Um, then there, as you can see, it's slowly going away. Uh, it does pretty decent healing. Uh, if you pop this in a corner, if you're really good, uh, you can really do some cool stuff with this. Um, you can also overcharge it and supply a burst of healing and removes all conditions. Uh, you only do that, of course, once. There. I don't know how what the timer is on this, but it's quite long. Um, very nice, though, when used in conjunction with the turret. You can actually hold spots on keeps and stuff and, and, and help, uh, uh, help your team out if they're trying to uh, turtle for reinforcements or whatnot. Um, so those are the, the healing abilities. Then you have uh, different. You have a whole bunch of different effects. Now I wanted the flamethrower. So this thing is awesome. So at first I thought, okay, he's got this big backpack with goo, <laughs> and so cool now. I can push him away. As you can see, the fire damage is really nice. And it is AOE too. 